What, what up, up metalheads? Metal heads? Okay, so welcome back to another uh, non-metal reaction. No, we didn't do a non-metal reaction. I'm just kidding. We kind of did. <laughs> yeah, well, we kind of did when he did the uh, Dark the Medieval part. Times oh, things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this, time, <laughs> so this time we got two people who don't listen to metal music. Actually, she's, I don't think she's really exposed to metal at all. Go ahead and give them a background on your music. Okay, I know one song, and it's called Holy Diver. That's the only metal song. And she then knows. like ACDC, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Or, yeah. What's your What's your preferred taste in music? Alternative. Alternative. But not, like, not like Andy Beersack, but not like. Not emo alternative, yeah. but like so like indie. Yeah. Like Green Day. Wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, so like I Green Day love... or like yeah. what's like, the uh, other what one? Is it? Like a uh, girls Kinder like mind. boys. That's oh, my okay. favorite. I okay. like that one a lot. <laughs> indie country, fucking rap, pop, yeah, hip hop. Basically. He does have some exposure to metal just because he's my brother. So actually, he's heard all the essentials. Really. But he has not heard King Diamond, nor has she, and that is what they're reacting to. They are reacting to uh, King Diamond's Invisible Guest, one of my personal favorites. All right. Invisible. Okay. Yeah, the I sounds, can already. The song's dramatic already. It is. It's a concept album about the house being haunted, so I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Too much. The song? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds very power metal. Yes, very power metal. Mm -hmm. That was my dance. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of guitar riff that you go on. Where are the words? Oh, they're coming right here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like. No? Mm -mm. How's that? He sounds like Tana Mojo. Okay, hold on. Can we cut this off real quick? Yeah, okay, okay. So go ahead and say what you gotta say about it. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys know who this is, but he sounds like Tana Mojo. I don't like, know who that is. <laughs> like, you know who I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So if you oh, guys yeah. haven't heard her new Hefner song, check it out because it sounds exactly the same. What the fuck? Okay. I have to check that out. I will have to. I didn't know this. what that was until now, but. You said it sounds really power metal ish? Okay, not only that, I, the guitar sounded really electric. Like, it didn't just sound <laughs> yes, like. It, did. it didn't just sound like a guitar plugged into Frickin a guitar. Freaking light. It sounded. Plugged into really lightning. Like eight yeah, it sounded, it sounded really like. Like electric and like digitally enhanced. Mm -hmm. That and then okay, Andreas already knows I'm not a big fan of that kind of singing, but I do like the instruments in the song. Oh, so you don't like his singing? No, I, I think his singing is pretty like great. Singing. Okay, all right, let's He's continue. Too it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, that just sounded. It. <laughs> It sounded like when, like in a, in those movies that make fun of cosplayers, like when they're <laughs> oh, yeah. like, and then they're like trying to sing and like it shows a really dramatic epic scene. That's that is to be exactly. Them epic. You know what's funny is that's exactly what's going on here. He's telling he's doing what he, in the Glorious Burden. Mm -hmm. That's this album. Oh my god! It's that. Ex, so he's doing about. he's doing exactly that. Just a different. It's a different. You that's, know what I mean? It sounds so much like it just sounds too cheesy and uh, like. Cosplay. The title is also really cheesy, The Invisible Guests. Yeah. <laughs> By who? By King Diamond. Exactly. Yes. Everything about this. Alright, let's continue. And then there's Tyler drinking tea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As I stood up there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the door is open? <laughs> My door opens and then it never shuts. Ago, he was looking through a keyhole. Right. Yeah. <laughs> looking through your and then keyhole. All of a sudden, the door is open. I was, for some reason, when he said that, I pictured like. Like a really cheesy like cartoon of a little kid looking through a keyhole and the door flies open. He's like, like oh. Alice in like, Wonderland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so this is so cheesy and dramatic uh, cartoony to me. This is so it extra. Is. It really is. Yeah. Extra. My hands are so red, guys. Check that out, dude. 
Wow. So I'm a this. vampire. Sounds like whining almost. Yes. You're like, Mom, don't ground me. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I was looking through the keyhole. All right, all right. So there was the Invisible Guest by King Diamonds. So you d didn't like it? No, I won't be listening to that. Out like from like a one to ten, ten being the best. It was like a point oh five. Point oh five. Okay. Okay. It was like it was okay. You know what? I'll give it like a two because the <laughs> instruments were good and it at least had a story which I like. Okay, true. Then I'll give it a one. A one. One okay. point three. Okay. All right. Final answer. I don't so, like the story what if I told you guys? Well, what if I told you guys that King Diamond is one of metal's most important uh, musicians? I still think it's a I'm one shook. point I three. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Honestly, I like King Diamond. I showed the, you guys this one because this one is kind of their most important album mm -hmm. to the whole metal history. Why? Because uh, it shows that good people can suck? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite is uh, Abigail and uh, the Candle. Or uh, not the Candles. Uh, you know, the Portrait one. Whatever. The Portrait one. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. called like Fatal Portrait or something. Those two are my favorites. This album, I'm not a really big fan of this one. But there it is for you. <laughs>